Welcome to 30 Bananas a Day. <laughs> How much dates is too much dates? It's my second jug. Mm. Whoa. Sugar rush. People ask me, is it okay if I have two or three dates in my smoothie? <laughs> There's the date seeds, man. Drop it on the floor, I've date seeds all over the floor here, it's a mess. This is what happens when you work 70 hours a week on the internet. Mm. That is so good. Drink your smoothie, chew your smoothie. Knock back this bad boy. I don't use glasses as much, I mean glasses are good for water, but when it comes to smoothie, just drink it out of the jug. And then I wash it outside in the garden and the ants get a little bit of smoothie, so it's all good. I always find it amusing when people in the raw food scene say, Oh, I had a binge on 20 dates. <laughs> don't do it often though. Or they might say, Is two or three dates okay, Harley? And I'm like, Man, where the, what, the, what are you eating otherwise if you're not eating dates? I mean, you're like, <laughs> Dunkin' Donuts or what? So dates, banana, that's my staple. If I couldn't get dates and banana, Rice and pasta in a jiffy, no problems at all. So I tell people, if you're interested in raw foods, if you find raw foods work best for you, like they do for me, then have dates and bananas. Have enough of those on hand as a staple. If not, cool. Smash in your rice, your corn, your millet, your quinoa, your pasta, massive big bowls of pasta. If I, if I wasn't eating this many calories from fruit, I'd be eating this many calories from rice and stuff, which is fine, still very slimming foods. Personally, I just find I work better on the fruits, but the starches, definitely, as a backup plan, I'd highly recommend them. I mean, I've lived for years on starches, that's why I can promote them and say, they are one heck good weight loss food. Because anyone who says they're getting fat on rice or fruit, <coughs> they're eating other shit. And it doesn't make them bad people, I'm just telling you, they're eating some nasty shit they ain't proud of. I'm not talking about newbies, or I'm talking about long term. I'm not talking about newbies, but uh, if you're interested in that, starch solution, good book. Interested in fruit, Doug Grain, Nutrition Athletic Performance. And we've got another book here, Sun Food Diet Infusion by John McCabe. Quite a thick reference there. Got some uh, some good quotes. John McCabe always puts a, together a solid book, so uh, slap that one on your list as well. I like John Stoll, how he just gets a lot of quotes, quotes, quotes. Fantastic. So, dates, man. How many dates is too much dates? Well, that's what I've had so far today. I don't know we've got 50, 70 dates in there or something like that. And uh, it's not even 12.30. So people say, oh, you know, you must train like a little. I'm not even doing anything today. <laughs> I'm not even doing anything today. I'm just on the computer, banging out videos, writing my book, doing all sorts of stuff. So people say, oh, I work sedentary. You know, I'm an accountant. I'm a lawyer, Harley Ocker. I'm like, if you use your brain, smash in the cards, man. If you use your body, smash in your carbs. Carbs for the win. Carbs, breakfast, lunch and dinner. Fuck off the fasting, the intermittent fasting or whatever, the food paranoia. Smash in the carbs, low fat, low protein, vegan, whole foods, fruit's your friend. Have the backup plan, whatever. Get your calories in so you're not at Dunkin' Donuts or eating shit and having to fast it off. Just more comments. Thanks for watching. Post your thoughts down below. Want to learn more? Join the cult. We'll see you soon. But bottom line, carbs keep you lean as fuck. And if you want to be fit and toned, do sport. People ask me, okay, then, so chocolate cake is good because cake's full of carbs, right? Well, the average chocolate cake, let's say you're having 3,000 calories of chocolate cake, you're going to get around 150 grams of fat for that 3,000 calories. If you have 3,000 calories from dates, you get about a gram of fat. So you get 150 grams versus one gram. So you get 150 times the fucking fat from the chocolate cake, your average chocolate cake. Now you add that up in a week, you got 3,000 calories a day from chocolate cake, you got a kilo of fat a week, more so. Of course, not everyone's going to eat 3,000 calories of chocolate cake a week, but over the year and the years, you see what happens, yeah. People eat the fat that has the sugar in it, and they think it's the sugar that makes them fucking fat, but it's not true, man. It's the fat makes you fat. The fat you eat is the fat you wear fucking effortlessly. Carb the fuck up. Fruit's your friend. Smashing the dates. We'll see you next video.